ball chipped up the left wing board. Chase Dubois racing this down in the left circle. Back in front. He scores! Lovely play, Trevor. Just a great pass and a wonderful finish. Enderbeck, his quick shot save made, rebound, and trying to get the backhand in was Weatherby, but incredible aerobics, but he pulled it off. Now two on one back the other way, in shot, and a save made by Isley as Bennett Norland driving up on the right side in that quick transition. Stratton, back across, Enderbeck, he shoots, on oh, it's covered up by Amonrud. How did he get a handle on that? Can't find a white sweater, sack right side, Morton scores! One second to go on the penalty to steal. Hawk Ryan holds it in. Dubois down low. Dolly will score! Oh a gorgeous deflection by Dolly on the pass from Dubois. Ryan held the puck in, and the Warriors lead it one score. Two on the score. Back on his tail. Steals it away in front for Stratton. Left for Morton. His shot save made. And secured by Amonrud. Goes Demon right side. Walking in Zach back door. They score. And it's Souter that gets it on a beautifully developed play by Wenatchee. He's in here for Arnold with a quick shot that was blocked by Steele. He's off to the race on the left wing side. Steele gets behind the defense and scores! Wow, he's at it again. Ryan Steele is second goal of the game. And the Warriors regain their lead. It's 3-2. Off for the interference penalty. Marino, there for Steele to the corner, Dubois back in front, Marino scores! Just nine seconds into the power play, the captain on the board! Just really teed that up. Taylor, pass was just behind him, and then back across, in for Stratton! They tried to tuck it out in front, and it's up under the pad of Amonrud. Across on the right side, Suzaki walks and holds, shoots, scores! Chad Suzaki from the right circle beats Amonrud on the blocker's side with a shot, and the Wild are within one. It's a 3-2 West Kelowna lead. And here we go. Ryan chipped up ahead, Dolly, Dubois trying to race that down. Poke loose, Souter in short-handed on the right wing, scores! Lucas Souter short-handed and Wenatchee's tied the game. Puck is held in barely at the left point by Galambos. Feeds the middle, Zach walks in right circle, Morton scores! Deadly power play, deadly power play. Sam Morton says Wenatchee ahead 5-4. Vanderbeck stopping up against Tilsey, walks down to the goal line, shot stopped, rebound loose in the slot, clear to the left wing, Demon walks in, back to the slot, they score! Vanderbeck makes it a 6-4 Wenatchee lead, and a four-goal third period for the Wild as the Warriors hot. Now he lost the puck as he gathers it here for Ewart on the right circle, long shot stop, rebound in front, Dolly will score! Parm Dollywall's got his second goal of the game, banging away at the front of the net, his 16th goal of the season. There's a minute 45 to go in the third by Dorsey, he turned it over. Here's Ryan, down the right side, scores! Oh my, can you believe this? Michael Ryan, 6-6! Feeding it here, now back in front, chance for Dorsey, he scores! Here with the West Corner Warrior head coach, Ryland Furster, after a 7-6 overtime loss for the Warriors against the Wenatchee Wild, and a game that kind of took a crazy turn in the third period. Ryland, your team looked in a pretty good spot, up 4-2 to two after two periods. I thought it came out really well in the opening period, second period as well, but a third period where Wenatchee scores four times, you get two late goals to force overtime, but fall in this one, what did you see from behind the bench? Well, yeah, kind of that. I mean, I thought we were really good through, you know, through, you know, through 40 minutes, and Unfortunate, the game 60 minutes. So, um, you know, I, I don't, I can't sit out here and have all the answers for you tonight, Trev. I mean, um, it's unfortunate. I mean, we just, you know, I thought we got away from stuff, some stuff that we were trying to do through 40, which I thought we had done a pretty good job, and then we kind of got away from it. And you know, that's a very good team over there. You know, you give them inch and they take a mile. I mean, you know, I obviously got three penalty uh, power play goals tonight. It's just. You know, we've gone through those are already on tape, so um, yeah, I, I don't have all the answers, Trev, sorry. Kind of a similar script to Saturday in a sense that 
it was kind of reversed where your team came from behind on Saturday and now yeah. lose the lead here, but come back late in the game to make a tie. But I mean, it was just kind of losing focus in that third period to where when actually gets those four goals, or was it the, the Wild executing on those plays? What do you think kind of led to that kind of third period comeback for Wenatchee? We'll go in the room and ask those guys if they lost focus because I can't answer that question. Um, you know, you can go in there and ask them. But, you know, as far as them, like, that's a good team over there, a very, very good team, and they can score goals. Like I said, you give them an inch and they'll take a mile. So, I mean, I, I, that's, you know, I, the only thing I, I do know out here is I just know how good they are there. Lastly now, uh, you get a point tonight, obviously a little bit bittersweet in that regard that you get a point moving forward, but I mean the opening's 40 minutes, must have been nice to see your team come up with that kind of an effort in the opening 40 against this team, a big crowd tonight here in the building as well, and really kind of got some energy going for some positiv positivity early on in the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, I, I you know, through 40, I, I thought we were good and, you know, and played the right way and did the things that we were wanting to do. And then obviously, you know, for the last 20, I don't think we did. Um, you know, so unfortunate, unfortunate for sure. Appreciate your time so much. Thanks for this round. Thanks, my pleasure.